You want me to put that on my todger? This one's wife. You're not invited. Roya Nikhar, per the Times, tells us Harry and this one's wife excluded from Duke of Westminster's wedding. Yes, collateral consequences once again bite this one's wife on the backside. It is commonly the case that the conduct of the narcissist is such that in the fullness of time they get their just desserts in terms of social ostracization by other individuals, or at the very least, not being included in certain events so as to avoid a fallout with somebody else, or to avoid there being a difficult atmosphere because the narcissist is already known to have fallen out with another individual. Narcissists fall out with more people than anybody else. This is because we see that you've done something wrong and therefore part of the need to control you is achieved by perhaps having a huge row with you or cutting you out of our life and blocking you and having nothing to do with us. Regularly, because of the way that we see the world and our sense of entitlement and our lack of accountability for our behaviours results in us conducting our behaviour in a particular way which causes there to be friction with other individuals. Lesser narcissists do so in a more overt, hot-headed manner. Mid-range narcissists do so in a more victim-like manner where they're passive-aggressive about it but nevertheless cause tensions and fallings out, particularly within friendship groups and families. This one's wife, of course, has done this already. She has not only ostracised her father and her two half-siblings from the family, but she has done so essentially with her conduct and mudslinging and smearing of the royal family, so that King Charles is reluctant to have involvement with her and this one's wife's husband, and certainly the case that the Princess and Princess of Wales want nothing to do with them at all. Other members of the royal family have reached similar conclusion. The Princess Royal recognises that they are troublemakers and wants nothing to do with them. Mike Tyndall, for example, as we saw at the service of booing, decided he would be staying out of the way of the pair of them, basically regarding Harry as a knobhead. This can, of course, present difficulties where certain groups are expected to attend an event along with the narcissist. And... Sometimes those individuals decide they're not going to go because the narcissist showing no circumspect behaviour or judicious application of uh, discretion behaves in a manner of, well, I'm entitled to go, so I'm going to go. And the narcissist simply doesn't care if it generates an atmosphere for other people. Often, they're entirely oblivious to that. In other instances, it necessitates the host to state, you can't come because you've had a falling out with X, Y, and Z, and at the end of the day, we want all of those people to come, therefore it means you can't, because we don't want our day spoiled. And that's where this one's wife finds herself, in relation to the Duke of Westminster's wedding. If the Duke and Duchess of Sussex need any reminder of the fault lines caused by the royal rift, it will come next summer, at the wedding of Prince Harry's lifelong friend Hugh Grosvenor, the Duke of Westminster. The King and Queen and the Prince and Princess of Wales are on the invitation list for what will be the Society Wedding of the Year when Grosvenor, 32, marries Olivia Henson, 30, at Chester Cathedral on June 7th. But Harry and this one's wife will be notably absent. Grosvenor, one of Britain's richest men and closest friends of the royal family, has decided to exclude the Sussexes to avoid a family clash in the House of Windsor. Accordingly, the collateral consequence of this one's wife's behaviour is that she's out, that other people are going to be invited, and Harry once again misses out as a consequence of his wife's behaviour. The fact that Harry won't get an invitation because of his wife, demonstrates the impact that her behaviours has upon his social groups. It is thought that Prince William is in the running to be best man for Grosvenor, a godfather to Prince George X, who is also expected to attend. Harry and this one's wife's exclusion will be a particular blow to the couple, because Grosvenor is so close to Harry that it can be revealed that he is also 
a godfather to the Sussex's son, Prince Archie. Now, the fact that he is a godfather and friends with Harry would, in the mind of this one's wife, be of the view that, well, we should be invited. It's the others who shouldn't. After all, why should we be punished for the horrible behaviour of William and Catherine? Why should we have to put up with being ostracised just because they're the ones that won't apologise to us? Remember, this one's wife won't see that she's the troublemaker. Her narcissism doesn't allow that to happen. This one's wife believes that she's the victim, that she's the one that's hard done to, that William and Catherine are the perpetrators. And therefore, she will again deem this as inappropriate behaviour. She'll probably accuse the Gro uh, Hugh Grosvenor of being racist, suggesting that he has decided that she can't be invited because of the colour of her skin, when it's everything, of course, as it always is, to do with her behaviour. She will believe that because he's a godfather and so close to Harry, that they're the ones that should be given precedence. But of course, Hugh Grosvenor looks at it in the round and realises where the problem has come from. And he will see that the problem comes from this one's wife. Remove her from the event... Sorry, Harry, it's a shame that you won't be there, old Bean, but there we go. It's your wife who's the problem here. Then everything goes swimmingly. The Sussexes have not publicly named Archie's godparents, but they include Tiggy Pettifer, a former nanny to William and Harry, Mark Dyer, a former equerry to Charles, and Harry's friend, Charlie van Stalbenzee. Grosvenor, who inherited 140,000 acres of land in Oxfordshire, Cheshire, Lancashire, and Scotland, as well as 300 acres in Mayfair and Belgravia in central London from his father, is the king's godson and had an official role in Charles's procession at the coronation in May. It is understood that he had wanted the Sussexes to attend his wedding and originally planned to invite them, but has decided against it, conscious that the drama surrounding the couple risks overshadowing the day and causing tension for Charles, Camilla, William and Kate. This is sharing his consideration for them and once again demonstrates how this one's wife's behaviour comes back and bites her on the backside. A spokesman for Grosvenor said, We are not in a position to comment on the guest list. A friend of William and Harry's said, It's incredibly sad it has come to this. Hugh is one of very close, few close friends of both William and Harry, who has maintained strong bonds and a line of communication with both. He wishes they could put their heads together and patch things up, but realises it's unlikely to happen before the wedding. He wanted to avoid anything overshadowing the day, especially for Olivia, and doesn't want any awkwardness. Naturally, the behaviour on the part of this one's wife is, going, is problematic because the fact is that it shows her as not being wanted. Scobie thinks, however, that she wouldn't be too disappointed because it's expected to be held at Eton Hall at the heart of his 11,000-acre estate in Cheshire. Scobie has said that the Duchess is loath to return to England and refuses to dive back into the soap opera, a comment that has called amusement behind palace walls. Well, it may well be the case that her narcissism would say that she wouldn't want to attend, but she would still expect to be invited, such as her level of entitlement. And the fact is that where preference is being shown for Charles and Camilla, for William and Catherine, at the expense of this one's wife, that will wound her. And once again, the fact that she's told, you're not invited, challenges her, wounds her, and demonstrates another collateral consequence, all based on upon her behaviour. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.